is Jim Mulholland with SciFair Real Estate in Cypress, Texas. I oftentimes get the question from relocation buyers looking to move into the area. Uh, the difference between Cypress and Katy, they hear that both places have great neighborhoods, great schools, so they kind of want to know what are the cons and pros of both, uh, both neighborhoods, so I thought I'd give you that right here. First, a quick overview on the location of each. Uh, Cypress, Texas is located northwest of Houston off of Highway 290. Most of the Sci Fair Cypress area is now building out south of 290 and master plan communities like Bridgeland and Cypress Creek Lakes and Town Lake and continuing to move out westward, westward towards the Grand Park. So Katy, Texas is located just south of Cypress. It's actually off I-10, the Katy Freeway, which is west of town, west of downtown Houston, about 25 miles. Actual downtown historic Katy is located just north of I-10, but the greater Katy area is basically south of I-10 in the Cinco Ranch area around the Grand Parkway or Highway 99. Um, incorporates Cinco Ranch, among other neighborhoods, it even goes west towards Fulcher. Um, Cross Creek Ranch is actually in full shirt, but still in KDISD, and that will be discussed here too. Next, I want to talk about mobility and convenience of commuting to the different business districts around the Houston area. So, the main freeway again that goes through Cypress and Cy Fair is Highway 290, which is undergoing construction right now. They are widening 290 to make it, I forget how many lanes, but it's going to be bigger and nicer. Unfortunately, that means now it's not a very fun freeway to drive on. The lanes are really narrow. There's always construction. Usually there's some stoppage of traffic. Um, Cypress has a now a second alternative route to get to, say, downtown in that the Grand Parkway is now open. So, for instance, if you're in Bridgeland or Sutter Creek Lakes, you can now get down Route Fairfield, get down to the Grand Parkway, take that down to I-10, and take I-10 down into uh, Houston that way also. So, Katy has a couple options also. Uh, like I said, Katy's south of I-10 on the Grand Parkway. So, if you live in Katy, you can take the Grand Parkway north to get to I-10 to go to downtown, or you can take the Grand Parkway south to get to the West Park Toll Road, which also can take you into downtown. Uh, the I-10 was expanded about 10 years ago or so, um, so it has quite a few more lanes now than uh, 290 does. It also has some HOV lanes and some toll roads. So. I-10 typically has better traffic, but with that said, it still can be congested also during rush hour, uh, as is the case with the West Park Toll Road also. With that said, I went and ran some numbers just to see how long it takes uh, right now, which well, a little while ago, which is 10.30 a.m. on a Friday in April, uh, to see what the time was going from Bridgeland to downtown and then from Cross Creek Ranch, which is where the new construction is going on right now in the Katy area, which is actually Fulcher. So the commute time to downtown is about the same. Um, from Bridgeland is about 47 minutes, from Cross Creek Ranch is about 43 minutes, taking the West Park Toll Road. Um, so then a couple other places I looked at was the Energy Corridor, which is actually off of I-10. Um, interestingly enough, it's actually a little faster to get to the Energy Corridor from Bridgeland via the Grand Parkway than it was from Cross Creek Ranch just because of how far back that was. And then the last place I looked at was the Exxon Mobil Main Campus, which is off near Woodlands, north of town. Uh, much closer to Cypress, so to get there from Cypress is almost half the time than to get there from Cross Creek. So the lesson here is, is that it looks like from a mobility perspective, Cypress is actually a little bit, a little more Cypress is really located. Once 290 is actually finished construction, I think Cypress will even be that much better, but it's still not bad. However, KD has a couple more options at the West Park and I-10, and both are not under construction right now, which makes life a little easier right now. The 290 construction is slated to be finished within two years, they're saying at the end of 2017, so that will definitely have an impact on 
the Cypress area. In general, both great neighborhoods. Uh, if you're looking in the area, it's probably not a bad idea to look at both unless you're going to be working real near by one area or the other. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call. My information is on my website. My name again is Jim Mulholland. My company name is Cypher Real Estate. Thanks for watching.